G'day and welcome back to Riverview Farms. We have just woken up in November, so pretty much the uh, month before winter. So goal today is to at least get a mower, hopefully a windrower, and start mowing up in a bit in here before, before the winter comes and the snow start, all that fun stuff. So yeah, we left off yesterday. We did sell one trailer load, which was very rewarding, actually. Got quite a bit off it. So I got a few little bits of wood around. What I'm going to do is I'll quickly go round, round it all up into the trailer, and then we'll take that up and sell. Hopefully, it'll be close to be able to get in a um, mower. I have had a bit of a look through Mod Hub, so we'll go into here. Because uh, really, there's that one for twenty thousand. It's not bad. I downloaded these Potia Nova Disc little pack, and I think we'll end up going for this one, eight and a half grand. I won't do a swath plate or swath plate because it just feels like cheating. Yeah. <laughs> if it feels like cheating to me, I'm not going to do it. So, yeah, like I said, I'll go around, we'll pick up all the logs, put them in here, and then I'll take it up. And, uh, yeah, that should, should just about cover us for a mower. All right, took a good little while, but we got it all up there. I had a quick little scan around the place and looked to be all the wood. So, good, oh, we'll run this up. Like I said, it should definitely get us enough for a, a mower. Um, I think I'm going to go with the cheap, the cheap mower. So eventually we'll end up selling it and getting a bigger one. So the, it was a 3.5 meter, the Pottinger. We'll get that one, uh, eight and a half grand. So should easily get it with this wood, easily, surely. <laughs> Please don't make a lie. But yeah, we'll head up, uh, sell this off, and then we're going to have to take the trailer back before we go to the saw. Alright, so that took a good little while to get up here. We must be heavy. Uh, I did have a little check. Uh, the, at the moment, the sawmill's got the best price. So because they're right next to each other here, we'll take whatever's better. I think it's only like $14 extra, but a Money's money. Oh, nice, nice. There, we can easily afford that mile now. So, I'll run this back. Uh, just tuck it off down. I'll, we'll dump it back down next to our log cabin. And then we'll head to the store, pick up our new mower. But before we do any mowing today, which definitely want to do today, before that I want to just chop down a few more trees, open up the area a bit more, give us some more area to cut. Because ideally, as many bales as we can get and then wrap up would just be more silage and better to sell. So yeah, I'll cut back in just as we are coming up to the store. Here we are, just coming up to the store now. It really does take a while to get around in this thing. It's not made for speed, that's for sure. It's all good, we're here now. But what I intend on doing, we'll get the mower, and then we'll go back, cut down a few more trees. Might even be able to fit in a couple of loads. I want to go to about, roughly about 2pm, then we can get into the mower. But let's buy some goodies. Okay, so this one here, we'll take that off. Like I said, I'm not going to We'll go with the logos, why not? Beautiful. Still got four grand left over. 
So we'll see how we go. Like I said, about if we go two, two to three game hours worth of uh, wood chopping, if I can get two loads sold in that time, we may end up with around about 20 grand. So we should be able to get a windrow as well, which will be a good start. You know, it'd be good to get it all done before we go into tomorrow. Then we can do a little bit more cutting, get ourselves a baler, a wrapper, and we'll be laughing. Alright, we'll get this back. Back to home. And then get into a bit more tree chop. Alrighty then. Let's put this down here. Ah, oh. good to know. Like I said, I don't think well, we won't keep this mail for too long. But just at the moment, while we can't put anything on the front of the tractor, that's going to have to do. So what I've been thinking is, we'll cut down a few more trees over here. Yeah, be. I'm going to stay to this side of the road for now. So let's go, I'm going to go these four trees here, we'll cut them down, I'll chop them into bits, and then we'll come back in so we can load them into the trailer. Okay, so I've gone through, we've cut down the four trees, cut them all into good lengths for the trailer. So that's what we'll do now, just go cut the trailer, bring that over a bit closer so then we can load him up like I said if I can get two loads done which I'm doubtful although you never know even if I can sell one load and then have another one ready to go because I'd rather mow than sell it I need to get the mowing done today that's that's priority right so put on our front loader Wait. Then we get to have a play with the logs again. Tell you what, this novelty of the front loader is not going to wear off anytime soon. Okay, let's get into it. We'll do a bit of a time lapse. Actually, I really should have brought the trailer a bit closer, but that will be good. Yeah, do a little bit of time lapse, fill up the trailer, and yeah, we'll see how we go. That's about as much as I dare to put on, I reckon. I don't 
I don't want to overload it because the old Mahindra is going to really struggle trying to get that up. So, take this up. See how much we get. I reckon it'll be another... It'll be close to eight grand. Maybe even a little bit more. And then, yeah, we'll come back down. Uh, we'll load up the last few logs. Might even cut down another tree. Just to make up another trailer. And then we'll get started on our mulch. Great. Oh, she's really starting to struggle on that little hill coming up there. But this is going to be biggest load yet. Oh, she's got some weight. Trailer just feels like it's about a tip every time. But yeah, definitely our biggest load yet. So I'm going to say between eight and nine grand. Fingers crossed. That should easily get us our wind roller anyway. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Ooh, more than nine grand. Oh! We are like a pig in mud right now. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get back down. We'll still have about an hour before I wanted to do the mowing. I'm just going to pick up the last few pieces. We'll pop them in the trailer, move it to the side, and then we can get cracking on the mowing. Actually, what, four episodes in and we're finally off, <laughs> off doing some trees. That's not the last of the trees though, unfortunately. But yeah, I'll get back down there, clean it up, and then we'll come back in. All right, so I picked up the last of the logs. It wasn't that many, actually. I should have even tried to get them on with that last load all good so I'll just get everything out of the way I'll put it on the other side of the little cabin there do for now then we'll move the 4x4 and the trailer out of the way and we'll make it start on doing a bit of mowing shouldn't take us too long it's not a huge area we've got to do I think she might need a service. <laughs> it's just a bit rough. Okay, and even at early stages, this trailer's going to come in handy even to move around some bales. him up here. Try to get too close. Alright. Now we can actually do a bit of mowing. I must say it's probably the most relaxing thing you can do in this game. Lovely. Alright. Do so is we'll start we we'll just may as well start here. I'll leave where the vehicles are parked and just kind of go beside it. Oh, beautiful. That is. That is beautiful. Ah, oh, I'm feeling so good about this already. <laughs> yeah, we'll go through a nice little time lapse of this and uh, see you at the end.
Alright, this actually works quite well. Now, to me, it is kind of looking like it is dropping it in spots. But I still will get a wind rower just to tidy it up. And we'll, we'll need it down the track anyway. Beautiful. That was actually a really quick job. I mean, not a big area, but at the start. Like I said, I just need to get what I can get made tonight or today before we get into winter. Oh. That's going to take a bit of getting used to, actually. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so let's just have a quick little look at uh, wind rolls. So, kind of. Actually, that's not too bad, eh? What's that one? 4.7 meters. You know what? We'll go straight there and grab it. May as well. And once we get back, we'll quickly row it up. And then whatever time we got left before it gets too dark, we'll fill up the trailer. And possibly do one more load of wood up to the sawmill. Fantastic. Nice, so I'll get to the store and buy another new toy. Here we are, back at the store here. I actually thought it was going to be a bit more expensive for the wind rower. But that, uh, that 4.7 metre one's not too bad. I will take. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Like I said, we're not working with huge fields or anything at the moment. So now all we really need is a baler and a wrapper. And we've got ourselves another source of income. Yeah, I know this isn't the biggest thing that's around, but it does the job. And if you, if it's what I'm thinking of, if you go up one way and back the other, you can sort of join it together and make decent swaths out of it. And yeah, really does make it worth it then. So we'll head back. While we've still got a bit of light, we'll give this a row and then yeah, try to do another tree or two. Well, at least one more load of wood before night would be great. Okay, here we are. Let's get this set up. Now, what I want to do is go around the outside clockwise first. Then we'll come back counterclockwise and should give us the desired result. Yeah, wonderful. We'll get all this road up already and then yeah, that, that'll at least be the one thing we've set out to do today will be done.
Okay, I think that'll do that. It's not too bad, didn't take too long. I mean, missed a few little spots, but hey. It, it'll do. <laughs> Alright, we'll fold this up. Yay. Now, just have a little look at uh, balers. Now, probably going to have to go with the Massey Ferguson. I will have a look in Mod Hub before the next uh, episode, but yeah, it's looking like it'll be this little square one. Then we'll need a wrapper. Which again, uh, 22. Can't really go wrong with that. There, yeah, 22 and 22, so we need 44,000. Like I said, before the next episode, I'll have a little look through Mod Hub. See what other sort of bailers I got, even if they've got an older style. I'm sure there'll be something there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of light left. What I might do is cut down, I reckon, at least get another three trees in there. Cut it down and we'll make another, we'll do another log run up to, oh, no. put the weight on just yet. Yeah, another log run up to the sawmill and see how much we get so i'll cut down the next three trees and put them in pieces and then yeah actually i'll just cut them down oh no no <laughs> we really need a fence yeah what i'll do is i'll cut it down down load it up and then uh we'll go for a ride up to the sawmill Okay, these are the last two here. Another full trailer, so I'll definitely take this one up. And we'll get this sold. Feel like I'm starting to get a little bit better with the front loader. Just the controls, and I'm, it's only for this tractor. I tried it out before I started shooting this episode, and... Yeah, only because of this tractor in the doors. I don't know how to stop it. I really don't know. <laughs> oh well. All right, so take the weight off. Oh, I'll put my stick back. Even though it's down to 5.2 now, but I cut a little bit longer. Usually roughly about 5.5 .5 I'm getting. Put it beside here. Yeah, we'll drop off our weight. We'll take the trailer up, and I reckon by the time we get back, it's going to be dark enough to call it a day. It's going to be the struggle of winter. Well, that's all right. It'll give us a chance to get through some more trees and be able to get all the equipment ready. So then, come, uh, what is it, March? Yeah, March when we get into spring. Uh, we'll have a heap of money, the equipment to do more of the grass, sell the silage, and then start looking for buying a field. Ultimately is what we want. And I've said a few times, I've been eyeing off the, um, there's a field with sheep, with a large sheep barn on in it. I think it was around 80, 85 grand. I think that might be something worthwhile shooting for. But what I'll do is, as we're driving up there, I'll pull over and we'll go in and have a quick look around. I'll just double check the price of it too. Right, we're just coming up to it now, it's just around this corner. We've got to take it easy. 
nearly tipped a few times around here. But yeah, this field just up in here, we'll just pull over on the road here. Won't take long. Don't want it to get too much darker. Oh, jeez. Clear off. So yeah, we've got a nice large sheep barn. Right here. There's plenty. Like, it's a whole field of grass, which is perfect. And a couple of my like, shed ports. Be quite nice. How much is it? Uh, twenty-four. So, yeah, just under eighty-five. That'd be worthwhile. We're going to have the time over the next few months to build up a bit of money. Uh, chop down more of the trees that we got there. Uh, haven't got a lot else to really do, unfortunately. But if we have that uh, baler, oh no, we might it might even buy a plow, because then we'll be able to do a couple of plowing contracts. But we'll see how we go. We've got to do what's within our means. Up we get up here. <laughs> These struggles. Yeah, do it within our means. I mean, getting a plow wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Or uh, some sort of a spader. Something like that. Okay, we'll get in here, we'll sell this up, see how much we get, and then head back down, and I think it's just about dark enough for us to call it a day. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, right, another seven and a half. Oh, I'm lo loving this new system. Front loader with the trailer. Uh, it's just made life so much easier. I mean, it does take a little bit longer to load up than that, but it's not all that bad. Something else I could buy is the uh, Taj Fun Log Puller. I know there's probably a better name for it, but that's what I call it. Then we'll be able to get all the logs in a nice row and yeah, really be able to power through it. Anyways, I'll race back down to home. And I reckon we'll sign off from there. Okay, so that about do us today for today's episode anyway. Um, we got a three months of winter coming ahead, which we'll, we'll get through. But we'll also stock up with some equipment and try to do a couple of contracts either too. That'll be good. So thank you for coming. Uh, also want to say thank you for all the feedback that I've been getting. Uh, really makes me happy to hear that you're enjoying the series and like I said I'm enjoying it just as much so thanks again for coming and we'll see you again on the next episode cheers